Hey YouTube, what's up? My name is Chase Marks and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be talking about some goals that I'm setting for the month of January, not for the entire year because chances are my goal list will just continue to grow and grow each month. Um, with this, I think I'm going to make this a monthly thing that I make a video about because one of my goals, as I'll talk about later, is to make more videos. And I think if I do a monthly video of goals that I am setting for that month specifically and some that will then carry on into the rest of the months, then um, that'll kind of be like a way to follow through with this first one, um, which is to make more videos. I love making videos. I'm still very awkward when I do it, but it brings me a lot of joy to make a good video and post it. And even if not a lot of people watch them or even if no one watches it at all, it still brings me a lot of joy to do this. My second goal is more of a personal thing. Um, it is to learn to react slower in situations. I tend to be very quick with my reactions and most of the time I don't even think about what I'm saying before I say it and a lot of the time it comes out with anger. It's not very good specifically for my relationship with my partner but in a lot of my other relationships, um, family members also included, I tend to react very quickly and with anger first. Um, this is a really bad habit and if you struggle with having the same awful anger filled responses even to the slightest of things i really feel for you because it's rough like it's really really rough so my goal is to slow down i imagine if i'm able to slow down my reactions then my anger that is in them will also diminish or at least get smaller because I'll be more conscious of how I'm reacting and what exactly I'm reacting to and maybe I'll be able to process through that instead of immediately going with it in like a very aggressive way. Please wish me luck, I kinda need it. <laughs> My next goal is I am already vegan but I want to eat better because I want to lose some weight. Now I'm not saying that I'm, you know, overweight or that I want to become like extremely underweight, I would just really prefer to be a little more toned up, which kind of combines with the next one, which is to form a um, persistent and stable workout routine. I think the two of those things put together um, would be just a powerful combination and I want to get that under lock and key like this month. I also struggle surprisingly with um, overeating even though I'm still like an average sized human. I tend to have ex like large portion sizes and I don't typically stop eating even when I'm full so I'm really trying to start working on like having a healthy balance of like eating for pleasure and eating for health. If that's the right way to say it, I think that I need to have a healthier relationship with the food that I eat and therefore um, I need to work on that also. Another not so heavy topic is I want to continue um, reading for fun. Because I am a student and because I work in a school full time, both of those, um, I tend to not have a lot of time to read and there's something different about reading for fun and reading because I have to and I want to have a steady balance of both. Even if my schoolwork ends up taking up most of my time, I still need to have like 10 minutes of, to myself a day, you know, and I don't think that is too much to ask for. So I need to come up with a good way of incorporating that time because if I don't, I tend to just devote all of my time to things I have to do and have no time for things that I want to do. And in order to have a, um, you know, fulfilling life, you gotta have a little bit of both. The last two things um, are I, this month, will or hope to join a trans support group because I identify as gender non-conforming slash trans. I don't use the term trans very often as I stated in a previous video, but um, I kinda, they don't have a lot of gender non-conforming support groups 
other than trans support groups in Connecticut specifically. I know of two groups that I will be joining, at least one of, because it is on my goals for this month. And that will then hopefully clear up a little bit of the um, other anxieties that I'm having in my life nowadays. The last thing is to be far more intentional about my social media time. I already put the limits on my phone. I set 20 minutes for Instagram a day and an hour for Google Chrome a day because I don't have a Facebook app. I just use Google for that. And I've noticed I've also been like religiously using Facebook because I'm on a couple of um, trans support groups on Facebook. So an hour of time that I use on Google Chrome, AKA just Facebook, um, gets used up every single day. So does my 20 minutes of Instagram. And I still feel like an hour and 20 minutes is way too long to be spending on social media. And I need to work on that. <laughs> so a goal for this month is to lower it down, be more intentional. I have a blog on Instagram that I haven't touched in months. And I really want to re like morph it because um, so far it is only about like vegan food and being more like intentional in eating and uh since i'm not really practicing that right now i want to not only like reincorporate intentionally eating in my life where i'm being more mindful of my practices but i also want to change my page to be a little more about like all of me and not just like this little portion of me where i eat healthy for breakfast that day you know um, I want it to have more gender stuff. I want it to have more like sexuality stuff, more um, stuff about being a writer, stuff about working in a middle school um, where these kids don't are just now finding out about themselves and how I somehow like help them in some ways. Um, I am the only gender non-conforming person that works at my school, at least that is out about it. And I find that a lot of kids also notice that. <laughs> um, and so my goal this month is to change that platform, Newfound Vegan, um, on Instagram and make it a little bit more about being ve or a little less about being vegan and a little more about being a vegan person who lives in today's world and how all of that looks. So those are my big goals um, for this month, the month of January, and because I have a hard time remembering things, I've written them all down on this bookmark that I put inside my book that I'm currently reading. So as long as I continue with the continue to read for fun, I will always be looking at this list and I'll know if it's getting done. So I uh, hope that you all are having a great start to your year. If it helps you, maybe you should make a monthly goals list too. I will see you soon. And next month I will post a February goals video. So good luck. Enjoy yourselves. Bye now.